Lots of people yesterday in the comments section of my video all about future content for Battlefield 1 being tested on the CTE expressed their growing frustration that despite being a premium member, which is one of the requirements to access the CTE, they're still unable to join their PC brothers in any testing because there still isn't a CTE on the consoles yet. And I wanted to try and explain why that's still the case. There's a lot of misinformation out there and people are blaming DICE when really there's not much they can do about it. Just very briefly, when DICE wants to update Battlefield 1, the changes made since the last update, or anything they really want to include, is collected up into a patch. And that's already been internally tested to kick out the game-breaking issues and the basic bugs that are always present when you're developing a game. They believe at this point the patch is ready to be handed out to consumers to offer new features, performance improvements and new content. However, before that patch can be deployed to the public, it needs to go through a certification process. The patch is given to teams at Sony for the PS4, Microsoft for the Xbox One and Origin for the PC. And after a period of time, that patch is then approved and can be deployed on the various platforms for public download. Normally, this falls on a Tuesday and all platforms will see the update deploy on that day within a time window. Sounds simple, right? In principle, it does sound very simple. But when it comes to the CTE, which is essentially a second instance of the same game running a specific in-testing code, the road gets a little bit harder to navigate for the developers. Now, on the Origin platform on PC, as it's owned by EA, certification is usually a fairly speedy process. And invariably, the certification is completed much faster than on the consoles. Not only that, but in the case of a CTE, a community testing environment, because EA owns Origin and they can publish anything they like on Origin, they can set up CTE very quickly and create that second instance of Battlefield 1 purely for testing. Users are made aware before accessing the CTE that when updates go live, all of this is subject to change and it might not make it into the final game. As we know, CTE has now been active on PC for over a month. On the consoles, it's a trickier process because the CTE is essentially test code and it hasn't gone through the same stringent QA process that a normal public patch would have gone through. There is a possibility that that version could cause issues with the hardware within the console itself. Sony and Microsoft already set rather stringent guidelines as to what developers can do with the hardware and considering CTE is a step ahead of that, it's specifically designed to be updated frequently with new code, Sony and Microsoft will understandably take a lot longer to consider the addition of a test version onto their platform. They need to make sure that the game isn't likely to break their hardware, making sure anyone who chooses to download it and get involved with it still has the same console experience as everyone else and isn't likely to see their hardware go up in smoke. We did get a CTE for Battlefield 4 on the Xbox One, but even then, if you remember, that was a long and arduous process. And finally, DICE got permission to put it live through the Xbox Preview program, which you also had to be invited to. So that was another barrier to entry. And if I remember correctly, the Xbox One version of the CTE still wasn't updated as frequently as what could be done on the PC. Because EA own Origin, they can update it as many times as they like. Essentially then, the reason the CTE isn't on consoles yet is because the console manufacturers aren't ready to let a test version of a game loose on their hardware. However, it seems to be only a matter of time until they are approved. DICE developer David Serlin confirmed on Reddit that the process for getting CTE up and running on the consoles and on PC was started at the same time, and they now have a target date for CTE being deployed on the consoles, although he hasn't confirmed what that date is. And that's understandable if you consider the backlash that would come if the date came and went and the CTE didn't come out. It's sensible to simply not set a release date until they're 100% sure they're ready to go. So really, it's not DICE's fault at all. It's Sony and Microsoft simply playing it safe. But in the not too distant future, I assume we will be seeing CTE 
on the consoles. There's a much bigger player base on the consoles, and that's likely more people who've bought premium, more people testing the content, and testing it specifically for console balance. You gotta remember that playing on PC and on console is a very different experience, and I'm still a firm believer of the two different platforms needing to be balanced separately. If you look at certain things in Battlefield 1, like the recoil and handling of the weapons, I feel that's much easier to do on a PC than it is on a console. Somebody commented yesterday how I was able to control the recoil on the Hotchkiss 1909 LMG far better than they could on a console. It's simply easier to do that on PC once you've learned how to use a mouse properly. So I'm a firm believer that there could still be two different types of balancing in Battlefield 1, and I think the game would benefit from it. But anyway, that's enough of me talking. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you share this video with your friends and your own communities, and let them know why the CTE has been delayed for consoles. Let's get the real reason out there in the wild. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.